we are with digital wandering back at you with another video and you know I always try to start off uh, with the uh, version of Mac OS or whatever operating system I'm going to present I'm going to try to show you the version of what I'm working with in the machine so this is a 2008 MacBook uh, this is in the black color which is, um, and I think this is the last MacBook that they made of those plastic MacBooks. This is the last one they made in the black color. Uh, and it's running 10.7 uh, Mac OS Lion, which is way out of date. And in general, you want to avoid using any out of date operating system. Uh, you know, oh crap, you know, <laughs> this is the real deal, people. Uh, there's some guys working on a roof real nearby, and so you might hear some banging. Uh, you might hear, hopefully you don't hear the music because that can give me a um, copyright strike. Or you may hear a random yell. That's not me. That's the roofers. And I don't know how long they're going to be out there. And this is not done in the studio, people. This is done in my house. So uh, you get the real deal and all its imperfections. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a guy that does videos. But anyway, so this is a um, really out of date machine. Uh, in general, you don't want to use a machine that's this out of date. You just want to use, uh, if possible, the most modern operating system, one that is still being supported as your main operating system. This is not my main operating system. Uh, this is a machine that I use for fun and um, and to uh, just experience. I used this when it was brand new back in 2011. Uh, the Mac OS Lion operating system, but you know, once the um, the 10.8 came along, I went with that and and so on and so forth. You know, the thing is interesting. Even though I used a lot of these old computers and old operating systems. I don't really have a favorite. Um, they all are functional at their time and even today. This is still a well functioning operating system for what it is. You just don't have any security patches. And all the software is out of date, so there's a security risk. Uh, but just using it, um, independent of going online, is still a pretty decent operating system. Still credibly functional. But in general, if you can avoid it, you don't want to use these old operating systems. Uh, there is still some browser support, and I'll show that a little bit later uh, on this computer. And I just want to talk about Macs. I mean, I, I most of the time I'm going to be showing, especially on the desktop computers, I'm going to be showing Macs on this channel. And Mac OS and Mac hardware are my favorite. And that's why. But I, I find in real, in real life, uh, just using different things, that I'm pretty functional in other operating systems. Like I like Windows. Windows is probably my second favorite desktop operating system. I use Linux a bit. Uh, on the desktop and that was pretty good I think that's probably my third and the gaps are not super wide but if I'm gonna have a choice I'm gonna go with my favorite so you're gonna see me use Mac OS a lot and that kind of also goes over to the um, we also talk about mobile uh, I tend to like iOS and iPad OS the best um, so Android is probably my second on the mobile front but again the gap is not that wide. I'm completely functional in Android uh, but you're gonna see a whole range of different things as this channel goes along and now you hear now that's another thing with these old computers the fans are really kicking in right now um, probably just working really hard because I'm doing the screen recording but um, Apple's guess my favorite brand and how many people you, I guess everybody remembers this computer. I mean, excuse me, this, not this computer, this commercial. Remember this one? What's the computer? I don't think Apple hosts this anymore, this commercial on their YouTube channel. But other people as actually host it on their channel. Apple apparently lets them get away with it like this. I had the volume turned off just to, again, avoid copyright strikes. Uh, but I really love this. Com now, was this this is like a shorter version. This is not the long version. I think the long version is commercial. It's like a minute. Uh, so let me get off this autoplay. 
yeah, the long that's this is not the uh, that's not the long version of the commercial. But anyway, this commercial I really liked it. A lot of people hated this commercial because of that line, "What's a computer?" That really irked a lot of people. I didn't mind that. I thought it was cute. Uh, but I think the main thing I liked about this commercial is that it showed the kid using the uh, computer in a lot of different ways. It was like an all in, it was like an all encompassing experience. They were able, the kid was able to use it on the move. They were able to do tons of different things with the iPad. Uh, I think this commercial was for the iPad Pro. Yeah. Uh, so, and that's always what I was being what I've been searching for in computers to find uh, a device that can meet all my needs. I haven't found it yet. I think uh, the closest has is the um, iPad Mini. I really like the iPad Mini, but it's not there. I mean, it's probably 80% to 90% of covering my needs, but it definitely doesn't cover everything. But um, that's the closest that I've experienced. And now here, the fans are going crazy. Now, I did mention earlier about there not being any type of, um, or being limited current browser support again this is the old unsupported operating system all the major browsers like chrome firefox all those uh they do not support uh the the current versions of those um of those browsers but this is the pell moon browser and if you're going to be playing around with 10.7 now look at this this is and this is a great about page here for the pell moon browser uh, this is version 28.14.2, and as it says, this is an unofficial build uh, because if you go to the Pell Moon website, their homepage, their official builds are just for Windows and Linux. Uh, so in order to find the unofficial build, they'll work on Mac, and it goes back to 10.7. It will support that. It doesn't support 10.6. So if you're on Snow Leopard, you're out of luck. You can't use this browser. Uh, hopefully it'll continue to use uh, and continue to support 10.7 going forward. But you know who knows how long that's going to last. But if you go to the help section in the forum, you can find the uh, download for the macOS version. Uh, but yeah, Apple is my favorite um, company in tech, at least right now. Uh, but all these tech companies have value. I mean, depending on what you use the computer for. And this is still a functioning computer to have fun with, but in general, uh, you want to get something that's um, more modern and more supported uh, to get the full experience, even though the experience with this is so fun. The, I did a, a video yesterday, and in the video yesterday, I was actually using uh, the same, or I attempted to use the same MagSafe charger that I use on the 2010 plastic MacBook. The MagSafe chargers are kind of interchangeable. You can use them on the MacBook or MacBook Pros of different models. Uh, the only MagSafe that I found that doesn't work interchangeably is the one for the MacBook Air. It was like a special, specialized thin MagSafe that doesn't work on the other type of computers. That charger stopped working. It was working fine on my video yesterday and somewhere overnight it, just, it died. Uh, so I tried to use that charger on this computer too, and it didn't work, so it's completely dead. But as a good retro computer user, I had some extra uh, uh, MagSafe chargers uh, that work still, and I was able to use it to charge up this computer. You can see it's still at 22% right now, but it has uh, been increasing as we've been doing this video. Um, yeah, that, that was an issue. When these computers were new, I went through a few MagSafe chargers. MagSafe chargers would either die. Uh, I had my experience anyway, I can talk about that. I had some that died within a year, and others that just seemed to last forever. So, you know, it was like uh, either you had a good one or a bad one with this. Uh, but you can still buy replacement MagSafe chargers from, like, third parties. Apple doesn't sell them anymore, but... Um, there's still third parties that you can buy them brand new. Um, I think the one that died yesterday was actually a third party replacement. And it's kind of sad that it did die because I don't use these as mainline computers anymore. I just use them here and there uh, just as a hobby. But um, thank you for viewing this video. I'm going to be doing a, a few more tech videos going forward. And um, so you probably will see this computer, this 2008 Black MacBook, multiple times going forward.
But thank you for watching. Peace out.